Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I came up with another video on Infosys top DSC questions asked in technical interviews. Right? Before going into the video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, share and like my videos. If you are already a subscriber, please hit a like so that it motivates me to do more and more videos for you. It is a ratio between not subscribed and subscribed people. If you feel these videos are worthy, please hit a like, subscribe to my channel. Without any delay, let us see the questions. I have already done this video. Technical round questions, complete round, complete questions, tips and subjects to be preferred. And this uh, is on Infosys Act with Infini. Okay. If you want, watch the video and come back. The It consists of complete questions, tips and subjects to be prepared. I will pin the uh, video in the description box or in comment section. I will give the link. Right. Let us see the questions. Top DSA questions asked in TR rounds. What, write a palindrome program. A palindrome is a string that reads the same forward and backward seam. Madam means a backward if you read also madam in that way. So in middle of the interviews they are also focusing on DSA problems. So you should be aware with few of the basic questions. Okay and most important one is the palindrome because many students out of 10, 5, or 5 to 6 or 7 students face this question write a palindrome program and Fibonacci series without using a temporary variable and array list related problems exception handling problem and oops mainly they are focusing on oops every individual are facing oops concepts and their definitions right and what is multi-threading and its implementation right if you want have a screenshot and insert traversal uh, insert interval it is a dsca problem from geeks for geeks uh, go to the geeks for geeks website and if you search for insert travel uh, travel interval insert interval then you will find this problem a few students face this problem and gas station also just they are asking you to write the pseudo codes okay and bit manipulation dfs in uh, graph okay DFS, what is depth first search? How do you implement just pseudocodes? They are asking you write the pseudocodes and polymorphism, encapsulation. Okay, what is encapsulation? Where do you use it? Okay, write a pseudocode on that. Okay, and what is abstraction? What is a constructor? Okay, they are asking you to define those. And what is inheritance? What are it uh, types? And they are also asking. Um, uh, um, why multiple inheritance is not uh, done in Java? Why uh, Java doesn't support multiple inheritance? That is also they're asking. And prime sum, kth closest uh, closed point to the origin. Okay, greedy problems. Okay, I hope you got it. See, insert trap, in, uh, insert interval, and gas station are DSA problems. They're asking you to write the pseudo codes. Okay, let us going into the video. If you want screenshot, take screenshot. Array rotation clockwise and anti-clockwise and prefix sum. It is most repeating question. Array rotation clockwise and anti-clockwise and prefix sum is the most important question. It is repeating. And the dynamic programming on string sequences and internal working of hash map. Okay. They are asking hash map what is hash map where do you use and what is the internal working and how do you define in a problem and write a pseudo code on it okay they are giving a scenario where you can use the hash map and they are asking you to write so be uh, prepared well on hash maps also and what happened when index is same for two key in the hash map okay then collision occurs then how do you overcome it okay in that way and house robber problem also maximum possible uh, stolen value it is also in geeks for geeks and exception handling in java okay how does it work on and implementation of linked list and trace basic code they are asking if you want to write pseudo code and how do you write okay prepare pseudo codes for everything and what is difference between the merge sort quick sort and when should each be used and the time complexity is also they are asking merge sort uh, what is the time complexity quick sort what is the time complexity they are asking explain the quick sort algorithm with an example count of subsets with sum equal to target count of subsets with sum
sum equal to target means they will give an array and a target they will give target element suppose a 5 then you should uh, uh, count the number of subsets present in an array with the sum equal to that target and questions on hashing and collision resolution techniques questions on hashing and collision resolution techniques and string matching Fibonacci series and explain binary search binary search is also important and Fibonacci series also string matching means uh, see they will give a uh, string and if the sentence has that string you have to return it if not uh, uh, there is no string matching element you can print so string matching is also important question and hashing see i have already told you hashing have a complete idea on hashing how do it implement questions on hashing and collision resolution techniques and what are the method overloading and method overriding know the basic difference between method overloading and method overriding and what is an abstract class and difference between interf interface it is most repeating question that is why i have given you the answer what is an abstract class and different from an interface okay abstract class can have both abstract and concrete methods and support constructors and fields but interface contains only abstract methods not concrete methods and constants and follow multiple inheritance and use abstract class for shared code and interface for defining capabilities across unrelated classes right i hope you got it have a screenshot if you want see have a complete idea on sorting algorithms and string related problems hashing collision string matching fibonacci palindrome basic questions okay method overlaying writing basic differences in that way okay and the difference between final finally finalist keyword in many videos i have told you many students are facing this question what is the difference between these three and why java is a platform independent what is thread explain the difference between the array and linked list and when would you use it okay when do you use these and discuss the time complexity of binary search algorithm i have already told you they're asking the time complexities of uh, searching algorithms and in order traversal or level order traversal find the longest palindrome in the given uh, string they are asked you to write pseudo codes only and reverse a linked list and find the maximum subarray see if you it depends upon the interviews few interviewers ask you to write the pseudo codes by giving pen and paper but few interviewers they will ask you to open the compiler and do in front of them and execute them okay so in order to um, select in both the cases know the complete code and know the um, the topic uh, why do you use it what is its importance no know, know that then you can rock in your interviews right see you have a total idea on hash maps linked list graphs okay and the basic keywords uh, definitions oops concepts definitions uh, and uh, how do you implement that okay and traversal okay, searching algorithms uh, time complexities in that way if you feel this video is very uh, informative worthy please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for supporting thank you